Hi there, I'm doing a, a video here on the Autolite 4 barrel 4100 and uh, in particular we're going to talk about the choke system on this thing. Uh, this one is a 64 and later. The choke on a 63 and earlier are a little bit different. Uh, a lot of them will have a spring loaded center post here. Um, so be careful with that. So what the choke does is of course it chokes the carburetor this is it's all about this valve right here when it's closed this cho full choke open it's uh, uh, engines heated up so what we have here is a thermostat this is a hot air choke thermostat the hot air tube goes in to here and uh, this uh, little end piece right here fits right into this uh, groove uh, before I uh, talk about that though, uh, it, right in here is your choke piston. If this doesn't move real free, uh, remove the uh, clean out plug here and clean it out really good. Uh, you can try spraying in some silicon spray lubricant of any brand. Um, the piston on these are usually brass, so you take that out. Uh, being very careful, there's a little pin on there uh, that'll break and also this uh, arm here will break easily. So, but if you take it out, uh, you know, brush out the hole, take your uh, brass piston and buff it out, and uh, it'll be good to go. So it just needs to work like that. And what this does, it's a, it's a pull down, and uh, what it does is uh, when you uh, stomp on the gas and the engine is cold, you don't want the choke to stay closed, you're not going to get enough air and it's probably going to kill your engine. So this thing here will uh, open it up slightly and let a little more air in under th those conditions. Otherwise it doesn't do much of anything. Okay, so let's put this thermostat on. Get that in a little groove. Okay, so here you go. Forget about the marks, your index marks. Uh, most choke thermostats don't come with a mark anymore. Uh, they have made, uh, they used to make a thermostat for darn near every model in year, different ones, and uh, that's no longer true. Uh, they barely make any at all anymore, so you generally won't have an index, and I don't go by that anyway because. Uh, you know these carburetors are old and uh, sometimes these measurements just aren't going to work for you. So to, uh, yeah, I got something wrong here, I think I got it in the groove here. Okay. Yeah. Right. There we go. Okay. So be sure you have the throttle open when you're setting this because uh, your fast idle cam or, or, or something else might be impeding your, your choke here. So it's open, it's fairly loose, and what you do is just twist this, your thermostat, until the choke closes. See something's holding this open, there we go, let me dial it back here. I got it way too tight now. Okay, there you go. All right, so I'm going to twist this counterclockwise. It just closes the choke like that. A little bit of pressure. Just as when it closes, you may have to do this two or three times. Just when it closes the choke. And once it closes, do another eighth inch or so. I get just get a little bit of pressure. All right, so to test this. Uh, of course, when it's cold, it should be closed, and when it's heated up, it'll be open all the way. That's how you make sure your thermostat is working. Uh, and don't blame your thermostat right away. Uh, it could be uh, something wrong with your linkage, something you installed wrong. Don't take this apart when you're rebuilding, unless it's all corroded, uh, because uh, you can easily break these... Uh, Screws. We do have a screw kit uh, for these things here the, for the throttle and the choke shaft you can buy. It has all different sizes in it. But if you do need to take it off, get your Dremel tool, grind off the ends of the screws flush, and, um, and then they'll usually come out. You can apply, apply a little heat, but be very careful. You'll, they, they break so easily. 
Um, let's see, fast idle. So when it chokes, uh, you got this uh, fast idle cam right here, and we do have this one, this plastic piece. They often get melted for some reason, probably when the engine caught on fire. Uh, but you can adjust the choke this way with that, and also in the, look at your instruction sheet for the adjustment. But here's your fast idle cam right here. And so when you choked, it's on the high step, and when the choke gets opened, like a so, then it goes on the low step. And this is all about your, uh, uh, just your idle screw right here, okay? So set your idle when it's warm on the low step here, set it where it should be, and when it's uh, cold, uh, you should get on the high step. And what that actually does is open up your valves here in the bore, your throttle valves, just slightly uh, to uh, speed it up so that you uh, get a little more air. Okay, so your uh, idle may be at uh, five, six hundred RPM, and, and then your fast idle uh, may go to say a thousand or twelve hundred, something like that. Okay, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, so I'm going to give you a good look at it here so you know how this one hooks up. Excuse me. Okay. So all these have to be real clean. Uh, if things aren't working right, just start disconnect, disconnecting things one at a time until you find the problem. So, for instance, you might take the thermostat off so it's not holding it, and, and then see if it all run uh, moves real loose. And uh, if it does, then maybe your thermostat holding you up, or the piston could be sticking here all kinds of things. Uh, no air goes through here. This is closed. Uh, I have some measurements on these and this on, on our technical site. Uh, so if you go look that for look for 4100 and look for the choke circuit link, uh, it'll give you the measurements for all this stuff. These get worn. Uh, try one of our fittings uh, uh, to repair this and uh, doesn't work on all of them depending on how worn it is but this one here I would certainly put one on it I think uh, just to help like you know especially at the at the bottom here or the tip they get worn out and um, we do have an electric choke conversion does away with this hot air uh, so you can do that I, I like them because the hot air just they're just a pain sometimes. You get they're old. You can't buy parts for them usually. Um, one thing I forgot to mention: uh, your hot air, like I said, was hooked up to here. You got vacuum coming into here, into the housing here, and it helps draw the hot air up to the choke thermostat, and it comes in through this hole right here. And let's see, where is that? It's right here is the vacuum line for that. Okay. There's a gasket here with two holes in it. When you take the housing off, take the housing off with these three screws. You'll see the you'll see the two holes, and the, that's how the vacuum gets in here. And uh, you know, it comes. It's going to be coming from your uh, vacuum from your bo inside the bore here. Okay. And there you go. So that's basically the choke system for the 4100. I hope that helps uh, answer some questions. There you go. Thank you.